Hey Caleb, this is Philip. I just want to give you a couple tips about using the uh, PVS-14 monocular as well as the mount on the ACH. Uh, the reason for this is that I've seen uh, many people in the service who uh, didn't have their night vision adjusted uh, as well as it could have. Now, uh, my best advice is to put as many hours on the unit as you can, you know, nightly go out there and uh, uh, people use the word training. I mean, enjoy it. You know, have some fun, stare at the stars and whatever. But uh, a couple key points to take away are that you have uh, many uh, adjustments. You know, just in this picture, you're going to have uh, maybe about seven. You know, back here, there's a uh, eyepiece adjustment. There's a uh, focus adjustment for close up or far away targets. There's a gain or brightness adjustment. And then there's a third position on the PVS-14 switch for IR elimination, which is really helpful inside buildings and not so helpful at all uh, outside. Other than that, you have the J-arm with the uh, pivoting adjustment. So you can unscrew, you can back off that screw uh, and completely rotate the PVS-14 from your left or right eye. Now you have a back and forth, an eye relief adjustment over here on your mount. Uh, this is showing like a basic Narotos uh, army style mount. You know, I have one like right here. So uh, I'm just gonna show it to you in the picture because I can use my pointer pretty effectively. But uh, the key thing is that uh, when you're adjusting for the eye relief, it's just like you would with uh, a regular scope. So, you know, close enough that you can comfortably look through it. I usually have mine uh, almost touching my eye. Maybe not that close, maybe about an inch away, but uh, it's close. You know, if I, if I was if I was wearing my uh, eye protection, I'd definitely feel the PVS-14 bumping up against it. Now, another uh, key adjustment here, I'm gonna show you on the actual mount. Here's, of course, it can be, uh, the mount can be swung up and down. That's uh, something that uh, all mounts are gonna have. Now, I'm sure the Wilcox mount has this. This is an angular adjustment. So you can see as I flip this back and forth, the whole, this whole thing rotates. Now this is very, very important and often overlooked. I'll show you why. So I have another tab open here with a soldier wearing the night vision properly. You can see, uh, you know, the helmet's kind of, or the, the chin strap's not being worn right. The chin strap should go uh, over the front of the chin. But, uh, and overall, I think the helmet could sit just a little bit lower uh, to be effective. Now, uh, the reason why I say that is because you want to have kind of like the top of the PVS-14 a little bit closer to the uh, brim of the helmet. And uh, the, look at the way when the soldier's looking forward, PVS-14 is in a straight line going out. Uh, I'm gonna show you an example of the wrong way of doing it. This is another example of doing it the right way. Now this is a mannequin, okay? But the point is that uh, in order for him to see straight ahead, he would have to tilt his head back because the, P the night vision, and this is not a PVS-14, the night vision goggles in this case are at a downward angle. So when you're wearing your PVS-14, you want to be more like, uh, more like this guy, where you can see it's just straight line ahead. Uh, so when you're walking around, your head should be uh, level, you know, square with your shoulders. So when you're walking straight, that way you're not tilting your head back. Uh, the reason why this is so important is because if that tilt adjustment's wrong, you're going to be uh, kind of straining your your eye because you, your eye is m more naturally focused uh, in its center position. Uh, just like this. If you're trying to use like the bottom edge of your eye, that's that's not gonna work too well. So that's gonna bring me up to uh, kind of the next adjustment as far as uh, eye eyes go. So I'm gonna go back to the other picture of the PVS-14. Now, again, we have two different adjustments. If you wanna like get your PVS-14 adjusted really well, uh, turn the brightness completely down and adjust the front focus and the back focus so that 
it's like a seamless transi transition, you know, from uh, your open eye and your uh, your eye that's currently wearing the night vision. What I mean by that is uh, it should be like a the kind of a natural overlay with a night vision image from your right eye uh, combining with the left. Uh, to better explain this, uh, I'm going to give you an example of what not to do. What you don't want is to have it so that the uh, the image is kind of like, in a way, uh, I don't know if zoomed in is the right word. I don't think it is. But if, if, it, if it's kind of like out of the same plane, you're going to have a hard time uh, wearing the night vision for very long. And it's going to be hard to kind of pick up some of your depth perception. Some people think that you have no depth perception with a monocular, but uh, it's not true. You can use your uh, right eye when adjusted properly. It will allow you to have that depth bit perception of uh, different 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 distances uh, from your left eye. So uh, what that means is that there, there's going to be one setting that works on here to, to get that perfect image. And once you have that, uh, that's great. I mean, just kind of make a mental note of, of what setting that is. Now in the front, uh, it's a different story. Uh, one of the key things that uh, they never t tell you about on this is uh, when you're staring at... You, you can do an experiment. You can stare at something up close and it takes a little bit more effort on, you know, a little bit more eye strain than it is to stare at something far away. So what I, so when it, the image is projected onto your eye, uh, you will, there's a, a certain point where it's as if the image is up close as it, another point where it's, if it's just kind of naturally kind of off in the distance so you can see things really well. So to find this kind of like your eye resting spot, uh, like close your eye for like, a second or three and then open it now the split second your eyes open it's going to be important that that image is crisp and clear if it's not if the split second you open your eye it's blurry and you have to kind of uh you know use your eye to focus in on the object that means that it's not set up right and you need to adjust this front lens all right uh that's all the tips for now uh Actually, one more thing. There's a, you know, there's one, there's one more up and down adjustment on some of these mounts. That's quite helpful. Just, I mean, this is straightforward stuff, though. I mean, you, you know, as long as, as long as it's comfortable, that's all that matters. But hey, you should be able to to move it up and down nice and smoothly. But yeah, you know, with with, with those things, uh, with those those kind of few key details, uh, you should, you should be off to a great start. Uh, last but not least, make sure the J arms uh, mounted correctly and that, uh, you know, kind of like left and right angles, correct? Uh, tension your chin strap properly and uh, just put a lot of hours on it. You'll get, uh, you'll have a hell of a time out there seeing in the night. That's it, bye.